Is it early or is late night? We at the after party, so don't act brand new You could call me in the morning You might catch me rolling with my West End crew And you gon' wanna match my high You be catching feelings, I can see it in your eyes Got three bad bitches right by my side You can tell me shit, I'm gonna enjoy this ride Handy in my cup, I don't give a fuck, I'm tryna feel right Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. And this week's video is going to be another Amazon content related video. It seems like a lot of people liked my opinion. Just based on the analytics, it seems like people like my opinion about Amazon and what it has to offer. So in this week's video, I'm gonna tell you pretty much um, a part-time building versus a full-time building because I've worked at both. So if you would like to know what it's like and you're thinking about working at Amazon but you're not sure if you want to do part-time or full-time, I'm going to give you all of that in today's video. Basically part-time versus full-time. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So to begin with, to work at a uh, part-time building, pretty much you get part-time benefits. So that's just common sense right so when I was working part-time at Amazon like my old building um, I believe you do still get medical but I don't know because honestly I just had my own health insurance but you do I think they do offer you um, medical benefits as well um, you don't get any vacation time so it's not like um, that's the only downfall you don't get any vacation time you only have UPT actually no you don't even have that so when you're part-time seasonal you pretty much only have uh your pto which is your personal time off and you have uh points y'all i was having a brain fart right there you have points however when you become like permanent a permanent employee working full-time at amazon because i started off part-time seasonal when you become permanent pretty much uh, permanent part-time you then get something called UPT which is unpaid time and then you also get your PTO and then you get something else but it's you still don't get that vacation time you your main sources of time off pretty much your options are personal time off and UPT and that's pretty much what you have to keep track of UPT is something pretty much if it's supposed to be used for in case of emergency purposes that's its intent for unpaid time so like if you had like an emergency car broke down um, got into an accident something like that or you just needed to leave right from the jump you're pretty much will get your UPT deducted you just cannot let that get negative because that can potentially hurt you in the long run um, now moving on to full-time um, and then I'll let you know which one I prefer <laughs> So full-time benefits okay so the difference of working full-time is you obviously get more money because you're full-time <laughs> um, not saying you get less money as a part-time person because you do have that opportunity for overtime like I mentioned in the first one you do have that opportunity but you do get more I would say more of a steady check when you are full-time um, you get more benefits um, so not only do you have personal time off and UPT unpaid time off you have vacation and your vacation hours that you accumulate is based off your tenure with the company so if you're with the company um less amount of time you're going to accumulate less vacation time if you're with them a longer time period you'll accumulate more hours of vacation time pretty much and i've noticed that because my vacation time is looking pretty nice jamaica here i come <laughs> i'm just saying jamaica yes here I come tropical islands I want to go somewhere tropical just saying so yeah you get that third option of time off so it gives you more wiggle room I guess so if god forbid any emergency happens you can always fall back on any of those three sources of time where opposed to when you're part-time you don't have that many options um you do cap out with your time with certain times like your PTO your personal time off does cap out at 48 
um, your UPT caps out at 80. So if you don't use it, you lose it pretty much when they refund um, it each quarter. And then your vacation time, it caps out, I think, in the 100 mark. Um, so yeah, that is the nice thing about working full time. Another benefit of working full time is you just get more opportunities to grow and move up. <laughs> so going from a part time role to a full time role, it is more of that, I would say more, like I said, the money is it, you see a difference in your checks. Because when you're part time, part time hours are 30 hours or less. And then full time is I think 39 up. They say it depends because some people consider full time when I was looking into it. Some people consider full time 38 hours plus and then they consider part time like 30 or less. So it just depends on your state and honestly the company itself because some will consider it differently because I did look into that. and I noticed that like they'll consider you full time if you're working anything past 30 hours, um, even though that's most people think 40 plus is really full time but it just depends um now to get into which one do i prefer better benefits of pros and cons of working either so the pros of working part-time is i feel you you get more days off so that's the pro of that you get more of a weekend i feel and you get more days off the only downfall the con with that is like when you come back to work you're kind of like mm. <laughs> you're like mm, i wish it was longer even though you do have more days off so that is a pro of working part-time you have that option to work two days a week um for this amount of hours you can work two days a week for this amount of hours or you could work like literally the three days a week or you could work every day for four hours but most of the people i've worked with we would work three days and then work like an eight hour day so we work three eights pretty much um three days a week eight hours a day so that's pretty much what we would do for most people um when it comes to full time you only get you work four tens depending on the position you're in um, you may work five eights or four tens. I prefer four tens because you get three days off. Um, the only downfall with having only three days off, if you're working nights, it may not feel like a full three days. Keep in mind, I've worked day and night shift with this position I'm in. Um, as a learning trainer, I've worked daytime and I've worked nighttime. I'll be honest with you, I do prefer days <laughs> when it comes to this role because... Um, you do feel like you get more of a weekend and you do feel a little bit more rested because I know what it's like. But as far as like when it comes to like the building and the management, um, that does play a factor in like what shift you'll prefer. Um, I will say I do like my shift right now, even though I am working nights, I do like it better. But um, that is probably would be the pro. The con of it is you get less days off. But the pro in working full time is you do get more benefits. And like I said, it's more stableness, it's more steady of a check. Um, what else can I think of? Pros, pros of working full time. Like I said, that vacation time comes in handy. It's really nice to have a vacation time because you don't, you actually do get paid. Vacation is paid. That is the major difference. UPT is not paid. It's unpaid time. PTO and vacation, having both of that, that means you literally can take vacation off. Uh, of course, um, the con about vacation time, it has to be approved um, because they do, um, as a company, they do have that right to have that blackout period. So if you're working for Amazon, they when they have their like big, things like prime and peak which is something that everyone's familiar with um they do black it out so you're not able to take vacation unless you scheduled it prior to then of course they have no say to kind of they can't really say nothing but let's say if you try to schedule it then of course they have every right to like not approve it but for the most part it does get approved unless it is a blackout period um, that is all for this video, um, part-time versus full-time working at Amazon, my experience. If you have any more questions, if there's anything that maybe I didn't talk about that you're like, Lana, what about this and this and this, um, please leave it down in the comments below because I'm pretty sure there was some stuff I was missing. But please let me know down below and I will get to back to you, of course. I will see you all in the next one. Toodles. Uh, well
Stay 